we are getting ready for a little road trip. We're going to drive to New York. My um, brother-in-law and sister-in-law, yeah, live there. So we're going to drive there. But today I had to buy Avery a car book tote because it's, you know, like a nine and a half hour drive. I found one at Michael's. I wasn't really looking for it. We were there for something else, but I found this and it'll be perfect because she is already planning on bringing all of the books. <laughs> and I said, okay, well, no, you need a tote for them. So I found this guy and it's a 26 quart like craft tote. But it's tall enough that she can fit a lot of books in it, and the lid comes off, and she was going to bring a little pencil box, but that can just go in here. So, uh, when I bought it, they were half off, so it was $10, but I like this kind of filing box size. Yes, my child refuses to sleep under covers. She sleeps on top of the sheet like a psychopath. She refuses to sleep under the covers. It makes me so uncomfortable. So there's no comforter on her. But. I bought this little road trip activities journal for our road trip. And it looks pretty cute. I got it on Amazon. I think it was like eight bucks. Oh yeah, eight bucks. I'll uh, link it. But little road trip activities. That don't involve a screen. Go to Dollar Tree and I want to get some. I don't like doing this, but Buster is on a canned food, a canned food, and it's a wet food. And like we know how much he gets because we feed him this food every day, but he's staying with my parents and I don't want her to. I know my mom would worry about exactly how much he's getting and I don't want him to get too much because it's a prescription food and I don't want him to get to not get enough so I'm going to just get some really I guess disposable I hate just throwing plastic stuff away but kind of disposable uh, containers to put his food in so I can just portion everything out for her I bought a pill organizer for my dog's medicine and um so that's all separated. So all she has to do is just open his Friday and dump it in his food or whatever, you know, whatever. And then also we can use it too. It's, it doesn't take long to portion all this stuff out, but since I have it now, the, the food is a prescription dog food. And then he has other dog food prescriptions. So I don't really feel comfortable rinsing that out and using it for human consumption, like human food for human food. So I, I don't, that's why I want to get disposable containers that we just can recycle them because you know I don't really want I don't really want his uh prescription food in my food you know I just feel like that would never get clean enough let's go Serious 
Texas XM because I went to cancel it last year because it's very expensive. I understand there's no commercials. I think that is amazing. It is difficult to listen to the radio once you listen to no commercials. It is difficult to listen to commercials. Like, I can deal with TV commercials, but radio commercials, I'm like, no, I can't. Anyway, so I would, I was called to cancel it, and they said, um, well, we can give you this promo for this price, because, you know, I told them, like, I'm just trying to cut down on some bills that I, I love the service, but I don't need it. And she was like, okay, well, we can give you this price. And I said, you know, that's great, thanks, but I, I still, I just, I can't, I, I don't need it. So I'm trying to just eliminate the bill entirely. And she said, oh, well, we can give it to you for $5 a month. And I was like, well, wait, hold on. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> so, yeah, I have serious still because they gave it to me for $5 a month. So when I called to cancel it at in like, I think it's July when it expires. I'm curious to see what kind of discount they'll give me. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna stop at TJ Maxx real quick. I haven't been there forever. All right, well, there's a line out the door to do bottles at Walmart, so. And I was gonna take them to Target, but you have to count them ahead of time. And normally, that if I knew that, I totally would have, but they're already like tied up in the bag. And I don't feel like getting um, pop bottles all over my car, even though we do rinse them out, so they're not as disgusting as some. You know, I'm just gonna have to go to an actual grocery store. I also don't need to do this. Like, this isn't something that I need to be spending my time doing. I could be cleaning out my car. Wow, look at this angelic lighting I have. Wow. You guys. Oh, so you, this video, are, this is going up after our vacation because, you know, I don't like to announce to people where I'm going until I, you know, just for safety. Anyway. So you've already seen my Amazon favorites video and I totally forgot to put these sunglasses in it. I got them on Amazon and I love aviator style sunglasses but I don't like the plastic the bendable nose piece because I always do this and then if you have your hair up well good luck with that your glasses are in your hair forever now so I found these on Amazon and they're just a solid piece and I love them and they're super lightweight I think they were $11 I'll put the link to them in the description box but I was excited I do love Target <clears throat> I do love Target I haven't had Starbucks in forever. Oh, I got an old car show tonight. Oh, how fun. Look at that old truck. I got one of these iced uh, guava passion fruit. I think it's a tea. I don't, I don't really know, but it was delicious. So there's that. Um, the lady at the checkout, she's like, I like how your eyeshadow matches your shirt. And I was like, thank you. That was intentional. Thank you. I felt like wearing black eyeshadow today. I mean, I wanted gray, but I, I don't have like a gray eyeshadow. I hate when the right lane is also the lane that you need to go straight because I, I feel like everyone behind me is mad at me because I'm not turning because I'm not turning right into red, but like I'm not trying to turn right, I'm trying to go straight. Like, I can see the guy behind me, like, making motions. Sorry, dude. I'm not turning right. I'm going straight. Sorry. Like, twice a year. Okay, here's the thing. Hi, my name is Amanda, and I love tacos. I can eat tacos every day. I love tacos. Breakfast tacos, dinner tacos, lunch. I don't care. I love tacos. Um, my daughter does not. But like twice a year, she's like, oh yeah, tacos sound good. And it's like the same time. Hi, welcome to Taco Bell. What can we start with you today? Hi, is this a mobile order for Amanda? You said for Amanda? Yes. 
Okay, thank you. And I document it every single time on Facebook. And it's literally like the same times of the year. Calm down, I'm not hitting anything. Each year that she's like, yeah, a taco sounds good. Like almost time to the day. It's, I don't understand, I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Because I don't mention that to her. That, hey, like a year ago today, you also said you wanted a taco. That's weird, right? That's weird. All right, I got some provisions for our road trip today. Here's the thing. We eat healthy snacks, tons of fruits, tons of vegetables. But I kind of feel like road trip snacks should be a little bit junky. So, not all of them. Not total junk. Not total crap. But for some reason, these always make me think of a road trip um, my dad loves these and I feel like we just had these a lot when I was a kid I don't know I got some of these I these are off from Dollar Tree this I got at TJ Maxx but so we've got some Boston baked beans Mike and Ike's Mega Mix I didn't want to get chocolate because I didn't want it to melt so I didn't get any chocolate but um I could eat Sour Patch Kids all the time. I won't because that's a terrible idea. Uh, some eyeglass cleaning cloths because, you know, you've got to clean your eyeglasses. Sunglasses. I have these at Dollar Tree, which is weird because it's a Sam's Club brand, but it's a single protein shake, 30 grams of protein. I'm all about that life. And then they have these containers for obviously a dollar um and i mentioned i'm going to pre-portion out buster's food i really hate that these are going to get just kind of recycled but like i mentioned i don't want to put prescription dog food in here and have it i don't know i just don't feel like that would ever get clean enough to want to use in people food i don't i just love the idea of just recycling them but whatever you gotta do it, I guess. And then I got these. They actually had Barbie licensed things at Dollar Tree, and they are so cute. There's a little dog and a bone. This lighting is terrible. What's happening here? A little dog and a bone. Oh, that's something for my Asian friend. A little accessory purse kit. And some shoes. And like one Barbie outfit is $5 now. So these were a dollar, these were a dollar, and these were a dollar. I need to clean out my car console. It's usually used for snacks, but some of these snacks, they're not road trip snacks. So let's do that, okay? All right, what do we have in here? Oh gosh, I got a shirt. Straws, I need a bag here. Desperately wondering who these are not mine. 
Okay. Ooh, flossers. A score bar. Oh my gosh. Oh, I need to fill this guy up with my fix that. A little toiletry bag. <gasps> I Oh my gosh, these are so little. I don't think this cord works. Oh no. Yeah. Ooh, a deodorant. Or York charge for maybe three minutes. It's terrible. I would never ever recommend this to anyone. I'm right here, dude. I'm right here. We already had most of the ingredients, so it was actually cheaper to make our own versus buy it. So we have like a little bit of this leftover. We're going to dump it from Archer Farms, the Sunny Cranberry. We have some honey roasted pistachio, cranberries, raisins, sunflower seeds. A little bit of chocolate. I have peanuts somewhere. Peanuts. So we're gonna make a trail mix. Seven small sealable bags of jars. One large. Ingredients: one cup of something salty. Like pretzels. Or nuts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One cup. Oh, I like sure, it. Sure, that's an accurate cup. Um, so do you have any other nuts? Salted dry roasted peanuts. Yum. So good. 
Ooh, we have some pistachios. We'll put those in there too. Nice. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. One half cup of something chewy, like raisins, dried fruiters. Sunflower seeds. This Sunflower is seeds is one fourth. Oh, sure, that was. Uh, one half cup of something chewy, like raisins, dried cranberries, dried goji berries. No idea what they are. <laughs> it's a type of fruit. Oh. Candy ginger. Actually, kind of sounds gross. Here, you're gonna be the tester. Whoops, it's all on the counter. Here you go. Last uh -huh. idea for me to be the tester and not the reader. Cranberries. One half cup. Not a measure. Who needs to? Not me. <laughs> and then. Do we have pumpkin seeds, coconut flakes, or coconuts? We can, optionally. There's mini M&Ms for coconuts. Mm, awesome. Wait, <laughs> there's more. Oh, what else do we need? We could put in, like, something crunchy, like goldfish, pre-pop popcorn. Oh, we forgot to put in pre-pop popcorn. Um, so this is going to sit for a day or two. I don't know that the popcorn would stay very fresh. Oh. Well, um, we could put... Well, in. also, I don't think we're going to put it in here. Yeah. <laughs> Probably because I didn't measure. Yeah. Directions. Combine all of your chosen ingredients into a large bowl and stir with your hands or a spoon to mix it up. Transfer... Transfer the mix into seven small steel wool bags or... For a reusable container or device. So, transfer the mix into a large sealable bag or a reusable container, or divide the mix into seven smaller sealable bags or reusable containers. Tip: Leave the chocolate at home. Chocolate can melt in, in hot cars and and will fuel a mess instead of fueling you. Whoops. All right, it looks good. I mean. Let's try some. I like the combination of salty and sweet on the raisins. Mmm. Mm. Mm. It's a taste sensation. Mm -hmm. It's fine. It's an MM. Oh my gosh, this is all gonna fit in here. Holy moly. I'm gonna have my dad try a little. No, but I tell him not to eat all of it. Mm. I mean, we could even fit more in here. We've got room. Yeah, let's fit more in there. Oh, well, let's see. We can fit, I think we should put some more roasted peanuts. More peanuts? And pretzels. I think I have almonds. Okay. I'm gonna read what we have done. Milk, chocolate, and peanut butter chips. I'm gonna read what we have done. Oh, yeah. Edit and upload Monday's video. Film Monday's video. Clean out fridge. Empty garbage. Clean up the of soil. Start packing. Stuck Road trip fuel. Don't touch till Friday. Uh huh. I need, I'll make a note for that.
I'm literally the world's worst vlogger. We got to our destination last night. Oh my gosh. I always thought driving through Ohio would be terrible because I'm from Michigan and I'm biased against Ohio. Sorry. It's like kind of a joke, but you know, whatever. But driving to Pennsylvania, I was like, I miss Ohio. It's so hilly and it's beautiful, but I get very motion sick. So all those smooth hills, curvy roads. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And I was trying not to fall asleep because my husband is driving. And I'm pretty sure we were in Pennsylvania for like, 75 hours we're staying in Wurtsboro at Days Inn it says Mountain Views and I told it was really affordable because listen I don't care we're here to sleep and we're going to go visit my brother and sister-in-law we're not going to be in this room very much I don't as long as the room is clean I don't care um, if it's like the nicest room or how it's the most room or really even about the view but I told my husband, would it be hilarious if the mountain view were just like pictures that they hung in the room? Because, I don't know, that would just be really funny. And I was right. <laughs> the uh, view we have is, let's see. Oh my gosh. I mean, the view we have is like a hill. Yeah, I mean, there's like a little mountain over there, but I like the place on our down by the road. Like, go play by the road, kids. I just thought that was funny that I was repeating. So, I don't know what we're going to do. I think we're going to look at some horses. Probably swim. There is a pool here. Avery uh, is checking it out right now with my husband. And I'm sure she'll report back because she's very excited about swimming. Which we can do literally anywhere.
We uh, got home about an hour ago. We are unpacked already because I, Buster's getting all of the water. I, I can't, I can't, I have to unpack immediately. And I already started our dirty laundry. I have to put like my makeup away, but that's fine. Oh my gosh, we were in the car all day. And it was, but it was fun. It was a good trip. Avery is a freaking trooper in the car. Like she's just, she's the best in the car. I'm so thankful for that. It just makes everything so much easier. If you have kids, you know, <laughs> you know. Um, and I didn't vlog anything while I was there. I meant to, I took some pictures. I went to actually vlog and I didn't. So there you go. Buster's day with my parents and <laughs> it's so funny, my mom said he somehow I'm not sure on your way home because he keeps looking at the door like, uh, let's go meet my people. <laughs> Did you miss us? <laughs> but um Anyways, we're home now. That's it. This was probably a really boring vlog because I I vlogged almost nothing. There's some beautiful scenery shots you're gonna see. That's about it. I like this little map that I got on Amazon. The little United States of America, and then we scratch off where we've been. Obviously, we live in Michigan. Um, and it's kind of more for Avery. She's never been to the Upper Peninsula, so we're not going to scratch that off yet. But we just went to New York. She's been to Maine, but she doesn't remember it. So I've sort of been to Pennsylvania. Yeah, we drove through it. That's what we. And Ohio. We drove a little line. <laughs> so. I need to find a frame that is glassless so that we can still scratch off. Also, this thing is pretty big. It's like 28 by 22. Um, but I got it on Amazon. I think that's pretty cool. We're gonna check on our plants. Come on, Betsy, let's go. This way. This way. I'll lead them. Go ahead, come on. So glad our home chef is getting delivered today. We don't have to get groceries for dinner. I mean, I have to get groceries in general, but not for dinner. Come on, let's go check on our plants. Please. I'm sure the bunnies didn't get it all for the theater. What's happening here? I don't know, my eyes look so white under here. I didn't even put concealer on there. Like, I've literally put nothing there. But it's so white, I guess I just, like, maybe need to blend my... We put blush up to it? I don't know what I did anyway. I look like I have a bruise. It's blush, it's not a bruise. back from our little trip I oh my gosh I was so tired we drove I drove we were in the car from 9 a.m. we stopped a few times for gas well obviously we had to stop for gas like, freaking anyway um, I stopped we stopped a few times for gas and just if just a couple times to go to the bathroom. We tried to do them in the same <laughs> trip if possible, but we did have to stop a few times for the bathroom. But it took um, uh, almost 12 hours to drive home. I was so tired last night. Um, at the last place that we did stop to go to the bathroom, I said, oh man, I should probably get gas. But like, we, we have enough, but like, I should probably get gas. And I didn't get it. And now, my gas light is like, you have 20 miles to empty. <laughs> I do not ever let my car get that low. I'm like, quarter tank, gotta fill up. Like, quarter tank is pushing it. I don't like to let my car get that low. But I was so tired last night. <laughs> like, I'm not, I can't do this anymore. I wanna go home. <laughs> so, I gotta get gas today. But uh, we also need a few things. We don't have any fruit or bread. Go to the store to get 
It was a picture. Uh, it was a fun trip. It's nice to be home, but at the same time, I mean, I wish we obviously could have taken a longer vacation. We were really only there for two days. And a day of, day there and a day back, so. It's, it's okay. It was nice to see my brother and sister-in-law. We haven't seen them in a long time. I was just in Meyer for like a half hour and it was not raining. Or it even looked like it was going to rain when I went in and I came out and it was raining. <laughs> okay. Okay. <sighs> I love Meyer. We had to um, get some beach towels while we were in New York. So we just went to Walmart because it showed that they had some that were like $5 on the app. And the hotel, it was days in, <laughs> you know. So their towels weren't huge. And also, I didn't know if they would actually like give us extra towels for, I don't know. I just, they weren't very big. And I like enormous towels, like enormous towels. Um, plus, we only have a couple of beach towels at our house so it's not like you know we were just going to take them home like it's fine um and i think the towels that we actually have are from five below which you know for as infrequently as we go to the beach they're fine but these are actually oh, my glasses are dirty uh anyways we went to this walmart to get some beach towels or if they didn't have those, even just like cheap bath towels. Just something. We needed a towel because we were going to go to the pool. It was the crappiest Walmart I've ever been in. <laughs> and it looked so nice on the outside. And it was a super Walmart. It was a huge, you know, a huge Walmart. And it looked so nice on the outside. And I was like, oh, this. I said to my husband, oh, this looks like a new Walmart. Or like it's been remodeled or something. Because the, like just the paint, it looked really refreshed or clean and it, I said oh okay well let's go here because A that was the only Walmart around and B it looked like it was going to be a nice Walmart it was the crappiest Walmart I've ever been to it was so bizarre they had entire section entire shelves of food were just gone just empty and I thought I wonder if they're still not getting their shipments of product uh, I mean because they had for like the refrigerated juice section there were like two or three it was it was a long wall of juice refrigerated juice and you know it's like tiered there there were three shelves empty just empty and I said I wonder that's weird you know um, I wonder if they're just not getting their shipments in or something like that and my brother-in-law was like when we told them that we went to that Walmart and it was surprisingly crappy they were like oh that Walmart sucks like they said even before you know any of the stuff last year with shipment delays it's they've just they just have empty shelves for no we don't know why it's just they're just empty shelves okay <laughs> because anyway I just love my <laughs> but I was also glad to know that it wasn't just me who thought that Walmart was terrible <laughs> however the beach towels that we bought for they were 488 they're actually pretty soft and they you know are decent they're not gonna you know last for the rest of our lives but I don't care uh, they're decent so I think we got some of the last three affordable beach towels that they had and the rest were ten dollars and I didn't want to spend ten dollars on a beach towel because like I wasn't actually planning on swimming. I just got it just in case I got into you know like five dollars is one thing, ten right? Is that just me? Am I anyway?
hate wearing shoes in the summer. I just do not want my feet to be covered. That sounds terrible. My feet are freezing all winter long. I, when my feet are warm enough, I want them to be free. I hate wearing socks and shoes in the winter. We brought socks and shoes because I, I didn't know if we were going to the city. I didn't know what we were going to be doing. So I thought, well, I'll bring some shoes and socks just in case. And uh, when we were getting all of our stuff ready to go, I thought I just... I'm gonna bring the shoes in the car because I can't, I just can't wear them. I, I, I can't, I can't put my feet in prison all day. It's a beautiful, warm day. The sun is shining. I don't wanna wear shoes all day. I don't want to. I would rather have sore feet than wear shoes all day. <laughs> and uh, so I wore these sandals and I got them years ago at DSW. They don't sell them anymore. I've looked. And I thought, man, I can, and there's no brand on them because the brand is where my heel goes. Well, I've worn them, I've worn that off. There's no other branding <laughs> anywhere on the sandal, which is another thing that I like because I don't like brands on everything, you know? I just, I just don't care. So... That's why I just buy dollar old. 